I'm very disappointed in the Twin Peaks revival. It's been a week now since I finished the last episode, so I had some time to think about the whole thing, and today I'm sitting down to narrow my problem with the revival down to a few points. I know a lot of you will disagree, but in the end it's a matter of taste. There's no right or wrong when it comes to fiction. If you don't want to understand where I'm coming from, if you don't want another view on the show than your own, you should probably turn this video off. If you love the revival but are interested in finding out why someone else doesn't, keep watching and have fun. Damn good coffee. And hot. The main problem I have with the revival is that it feels more like Fire Walk With Me than the real Twin Peaks. And when I say real Twin Peaks, I am referring to the pilot movie, the first season and the second season's first half. So from the pilot movie to Leland's death, to put it shortly. The fact that it feels more like Fire Walk With Me is a result of the following points. First of all, it barely plays on Twin Peaks. The opening scene after the intro even plays in New York if I remember correctly. It takes about 4 episodes I believe until we even see the Double R Diner or other important Twin Peaks locations. Uh, I'm not expecting fan service with a nostalgia trip and that Lynch and Frost wink at the viewers but I think at least the Twin Peaks should play on Twin Peaks like it used to in the real Twin Peaks. Also, the show features way more David Lynch obscurity and less soap opera and humor. Again, like the difference between the real Twin Peaks and Fire Walk With Me, or any David Lynch film for that matter. Next up, the show barely features any classic Twin Peaks tracks from Angelo Badalamenti. The crazy jazz music for instance, which really is a brand of Twin Peaks and always set the tone for the weird scenes we got to see in the original Twin Peaks, was always awesome. In the revival, we mostly get blank silence, which gives the scenes a dead, unlively atmosphere. Often we get to hear David Lynch's experimental music, which is cool but in my opinion not fitting for Twin Peaks at all. We just never get to feel that real Twin Peaks charm, that atmosphere, that quirkiness. Wait a minute, wait a minute. DJ Cooper loves coffee. You know, this is, excuse me, a damn fine cup of coffee. In some scenes Lynch tries to do that, but at least for me it doesn't work. The next points all have one thing in common. They are what they are because David Lynch wants to do anti-television. It is not possible to understand what is happening in the show. What is the plot? What strings can I pull together to get at least a clue? It is made like that on purpose of course, but mostly I noticed I was more angry with the show than I was enjoying it. It is frustrating to watch something be engaged in it and knowing you'll never find out why everything is happening. With the revival, you only get more questions. You will never solve the puzzle, because this isn't a puzzle. It is either only something David Lynch can understand, or it is just a concatenation of ideas David Lynch had, which he found to be cool, but don't make any sense in a larger context. So I as a viewer am forced to go to the meta level and try to get my enjoyment from a scene with two teens in the woods who are on drugs because David Lynch despises drugs and shows us how awful they are in a cool scene? This scene didn't contribute to the plot. Oh shit, I forgot, there is no plot. So I'm right, am I not? I'm supposed to see every scene in the revival as a singular work, not in the larger context. That's why we get so many scenes like the scene with the teens in the woods, don't we? I don't know what to make of this. It is just a frustrating experience. A human being always strives for sense, and if you find out that you'll never understand what Lynch wants to show you, you get frustrated. I'll never know who the dancing dwarf in the real Twin Peaks was. What was the sense of the poem of the one-armed man? Did it even have a sense? I'll never know. Probably it didn't. I, I just start wondering, what is the purpose? Am I just watching this to be entertained and turn my brain off? Is that how you're supposed to watch this revival? Because it seems to be the only sane explanation, because otherwise you get crazy. As I already said, you can't understand it, so why interpret anything? Another point of why this feels more like Fire Walk With Me and is anti-television is that most storylines were never finished. Character arcs just dropped, like Ike the Spike, the midget assassin. I'd like to have seen more of him. Too bad. That makes me remember Mike aka Snake by the way. I'd like to have seen more of this character too. More than one scene. Bobby also. I'd have preferred to see a normal day at the Twin Peaks Sheriff's Department with Bobby than a scene where people with coal in their face talk about water and wells. This is the water. And this is the well. 
which is something I'll never understand. I'd have gotten more entertainment out of a Bobby episode than I got out of this. This is the water. Now, that's my view on the show. And that's why I say... Fuck you, Gordon. I don't entirely hate the revival. It had some great scenes, but for a true Twin Peaks fan, as I would consider myself one, it was just underwhelming and disappointing. I just think the real Twin Peaks found the perfect balance between the two worlds of Twin Peaks. The supernatural creepy owl world, where you just didn't know what was going on, and the cozy small town Cooper Truman coffee donuts in both weird, awkward and funny scenes world. Harry, Albert, and his team are cream of the crop. Albert's a forensics genius. If they're working for you, I wouldn't expect anything less. But I gotta warn you, Albert's lacking in some of the social niceties. Nobody's perfect. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> that was the true Twin Peaks for me. And I'd like to have seen this come back in 2017, but it didn't happen. Well, I guess I'll just have to deal with it. Uh, I hope I could lay my points out uh, quite thoroughly so you can understand them and I'd like to see your opinion now, uh, what you think on the revival, what are your thoughts on it, what are your thoughts on this video, post it in the comments below, let's have a discussion about this and I wish you all a good day.